Well, let's make a Model Monday time again. I'm James, and I've got a really awesome print to show you today that I haven't even tested yet, so I'm hoping it's going to work out on camera. This here is a scorpion that I found on Thingiverse, and it's articulating. Well, articulating means that it can move. So the tail is able to curl up and over, in theory, and the pincers work, so you should be able to pinch stuff. Uh, it should be good for, like, holding documents and stuff like that. You can see here, the detail on it is really, really nice. It's really, really clean. Uh, I printed this in... Um, a lavender PLA that I got from Amazed, that's A-M-A-Z 3D, and uh, it's my first time using the filament. The filament printed really, really nice, no problems there, but the spool is a weird design in the fact that it didn't fit onto the spool holder on the CR-10. So, as you can see, it was a little bit of an inconvenience, had to unscrew the king, not really a big deal, um, and not a lot of wiggle room once it's on there, but it's the first roll I've had that's had that issue. So, first we should get this lifted off the raft. Um, now, I'm hoping this is going to separate, and I'm pretty sure, because it's already got the pivot in it, even with this on it, that it's going to work. It's just a matter of, will it come off properly or not? We're going to have to show a little bit of care here, as we pull it off. It's leaving some of the tail behind. And his pincers came right out. Oh. There was a bit of an under extrusion on the actual raft itself, but I corrected that during the print, or so I thought. Well, let's see. It looks like these pincers might be. Well, they're not reattachable. Uh, yeah, it broke off part inside. So we've got some we've got some adhesion issues on this, but the pincers, you can tell there, they do work. I think they'd probably be strong enough to hold up something. Let's see here. This might be a little too ambitious. The manual for my Super Nintendo Classic. No, nope, it holds it pretty decent. Uh, well, that is too bad because. That was honestly a really neat print. Um, so it's probably a temperature issue. As I said, this is my first time printing with it. It looked like it was printing pretty smooth. Um, the articulation works really, really well. You can see that there's pivot points on the pincers. And there's also a pivot point, and that's where, unfortunately, it's separated that goes into the body right there. Um, yeah, that's too bad. I really think this print's probably just fine. I think it's my settings that are going to require a little bit, a bit of tweaking. but. You can't say prints are perfect all the time, so it'd be unrealistic to say, hey, you know, this isn't something that happens. Um, so if you want to try printing this yourself, and I'm sure you'll probably have better luck if you're willing to give it a shot or two, I'm going to toss it in the uh, comment or in the description below. Uh, I'm going to try printing it again, and we'll see if uh, it works out better a second time. If you uh, like this video, well, toss me a thumbs up. If uh, you're new here, you can subscribe. So you can see how well the tail articulates. If you're new here, you can subscribe and uh, click the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. If you have a suggestion for a future Make a Model Monday, then uh, go ahead and toss it in the comments below. And yeah, I really think you guys should give this a shot. I mean, you can tell how well it's designed. It's just my print didn't turn out very good. Alrighty, well, that's it for this Make a Model Monday. I'll see you guys in the next one, and until next time, stay creative.